paint the picture. <clears throat> I'm gonna paint the last page of my um, art journal here for my granddaughter. I'm gonna make like a little dove. And I took a picture of a little dove that um, we found in our yard right by the house on the utility um, box. She was so cute, so I'm going to use that as my guide. Um, I've already kind of started this by putting the background of this uh, gel plate gel plate print that I've already made, and it kind of is sort of looks like little roses, so I, I thought that would be real pretty. And this is kind of like going to mimic the um, utility box that she's made her nest on. So, um, first of all, I'm going to, I'm going to draw her in. I'm using a Stabilo, Stabilo All pencil. simple drawing and then I'm going to put her nest all in here but what I'm thinking to do for the nest is uh, to put in some dried um, pressed leaves and flowers that I have been collecting uh, here, I'll show you the box. I have been... Oh, I even have a little feather. I might even put that in. Let me take that out. Um, I have all kinds of little straggly things in here. Of just nat natural... Natural things that I can incorporate into this picture or to make the nest with so I think that's what I'm going to do um, all kinds of little things here anyways as I sometimes I get the urge to um, pick things from outside and I put it between pages of an old book and then I Press it down with bigger books. I'll leave it there for a week or two, and by the time I'm finished, it comes out nice and dry and pressed. So anyway, I think that's what I'm gonna do for this. Um, all right, so let me take this and get a little bit of water here, and just kinda activate this pencil drawing that I made here. gonna make this simple and I'm thinking since this is a light color I might even just write a little note to my granddaughter right here so I'm gonna kind of leave that alone and um, this little bird we've been ever since we found her sitting there we my husband's really been Every time he goes out there, he takes a peek to make sure she's still still there and okay. Okay. All right, so she's kind of like, um, this is kind of going to be all the gray, gray side. I'm going to keep this kind of neutral. The whole picture really is neutral. Um, let me paint her in. I'm gonna go ahead and get some. And I'll show you my my palette in just a minute. Okay, I'm back. Um, I put out. This is my color palette. 
and then you can see it's all neutrals. I have some grays here for the background and white and buff white and um, this is a little bit of Payne's gray to get in some darks, some uh, yellow ochre um, and some browns for the bird. Okay, so here we go. things down I was thinking how I was gonna do that so it'll stay I think I will put get a hot glue gun 
and at least that way it'll stay really good. All right, well, while I'm thinking about that, I'm going to do a little bit of background work here. Um, let me get a little bit of this white here. Just want to soften this up behind her so that I'm putting some white gesso here just to. Uh, Push some of this back in the background so that she shows up a little bit better. Just to uh, tone it down just a little bit so that it's not conflicting with what I'm going to write there. I'm just making a very thin layer of white so you can still see what's there. It's just not as um, sharp as it was before. kind of dark some darkness here too because this utility thing is coming out so I need for it to show a little bit so I'm gonna put some darkness in here so it's really creating a shadow and this is creating a shadow also simple picture. Um, let's see. I can do any more with her with her feathers. Let me just put a little bit of this in here. A little bit of yellowish. There. Okay. Kind of brings her out a little bit more. go get my glue gun I'm gonna make this nest pop out a little bit more I got my hot glue gun getting hot over here and I picked out some of the things out of my dry leaf bucket or box all right let's see let's get started First, I should pick out what I'm going to put in there. Let's see. I should have something that I can press down. Okay, let's see. Use a skewer stick. All right, I've got these.
Mm -hmm. um, the pictures, I mean, the way she made her nest, it's like, she's got little straggly things, but this is not too long. Don't want it to come down that long. She's got little straggly things coming down. Straggly tr uh, twigs. some jute rope here that makes a good nesting material oops the only thing with this hot glue is Hard to do, hard to use here. I need to be something that I'm not gonna burn myself here. Okay. Okay, that's good. All right, get that little flower, cute. Um, let's see what else I have. There's a little leaf. Easy. All right, let's see. Well, I wonder how these birds do it too, because it's me. All they have is their little beak. <laughs> it's always a wonder to me how they can make a nest. It's amazing. And for me, I got two hands and glue gun, and <laughs> I still can't make a nest. Okay, let's see here. What can I put here? Put this here. Oh, my goodness! Oh, my goodness just amazing. No, it's not, not easy. It's just not easy. Um, I'm wondering if I should go back to just using regular glue. This hot glue is a little bit too aggressive for me. She's got all these strings coming out. Okay, let me put the feather in. I'm gonna put the feather. Okay, let me put this feather in here. Whoops. Mm, still. Oh. 
I know birds put feathers in their nests, make it nice and soft. Um, put this little thing. more of that jute. What I did with the jute string is I kind of tore it, you know, make, uh, disconnected it. You just twirl it, twirl it the, uh, the opposite way that it's twirled and you'll have all these little strings to soften it up here. So let me uh, put a little bit of that down here. right here. I might um, just thinking with all the uh, wear and tear because my granddaughter she's only four years no she's gonna be five when I give her this but um, this is gonna be so delicate <laughs> by, the time, by the time she uh, <laughs> has it for a few years there's not gonna be a nest left so um, I'm trying to think. I think I might go over this with um, uh, acrylic um, matte medium just to give it another coat to solidify it down a little bit more. 
so it will stay there. Oh, let me let me put some of this. This is a very delicate fern that I have here. This, I've added some matte medium to my palette here and I, I'm just going to go very lightly because you can use matte medium for glue too so I'm going to kind of just go over everything just to give it a little stronger Thing because these these leaves are very brittle and they'll just flake off <laughs> after opening and closing the the um, this journal here so it's just to give it a little more oomph and hopefully it'll it'll stay for a few years anyways Put some under there. Okay, it already came off. And uh, <clears throat> this matte medium, this matte medium, uh, it'll dry clear, so you don't have to worry too much that it's, just don't glop it on too much, but it should dry clear for you, or for me, <laughs> anyways. Oh my goodness. Does it need some? Just to strengthen this up here. Okay, I'll let that dry. And that should be good. The matte medium has really helped to uh, stabilize all these little bits and pieces of dried uh, twigs and stuff, so. Um, I feel a little bit better now. It's not gonna, it's not gonna flake off <laughs> like I thought it was gonna be doing. But <clears throat> okay, I'm, now I'm gonna be finishing off here. Uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of shadowing and a little bit of line work to uh, 
bring out some things. I have a charcoal pencil here. Just to outline my simple little bird here. Little dove. Okay, well I think that's pretty much all I'm gonna do. Um, wonder if I should darken the edge more. Hmm. I don't think it needs it. I don't think it needs anything else. Maybe a little bit of white. Uh, let's see, I have a white pen. Okay, that's about it. Now I have to think of what I'm going to say here. I'm gonna look up a verse and see if there's a verse about a dove. I'm sure there is. Doves are usually a symbol for peace. So maybe a verse about being peaceful, having peace. Okay, I went ahead and found a verse. And um, it's Isaiah 26.3. You will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. I thought that was just perfect for this picture. And then I wrote a little note here for my little granddaughter and put the date. So I'm done with this picture now and um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you try it sometime. You know, just uh, when you're outdoors, you know, pick up couple leaves or flowers and things and just like I said put them in a in an old book and then between the leaves you know between the pages flat and then put a bunch of books on top and leave it there for a couple weeks and then go back and get them and you'll see it's an easy way to um, flatten out the leaves but I thought that looks really nice like that anyway um until next time